what is your IPC? IPC we call it as Input Tax Credit. Any sale or transaction happens within the state, we call it as your normal, it is called intra, like within. So in this CGST, SGST will be calculated. CGST means central government. SGST means state government. Hello everyone, this is your other sir, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session 4 of your topic called Indirect Tax. Under Indirect Tax, we are discussing about introduction to GST. Now, remember, all the theory part we have completed in the previous session and we are now talking about your problems. As I told you, at the end, you have small, small problems. It may come for 5 mark or as well as 10 mark. Now, your agenda is very simple. There is a concept we will understand along with the problems on GST. Today, we will work out two problems which are very small problem as well as easy to understand also. Along with that, we will understand how to calculate your GST along with the ITC concept also. Input tax credit. What is ITC concept? I'll explain you that also. That is only your concept you are supposed to learn in today's session. Now, what is your ITC? ITC we call it as input tax credit. What is input tax credit like? You have purchased something for 1000 on that you have paid 10% tax. How much you have paid? 100, you have already paid tax. Now, you are selling to somebody some X, Y, Z for what value? 1500. What is the tax on that? 150. Now, remember, instead of paying 150 rupees tax, already you have paid 100 rupees tax. So, you are supposed to pay tax only 50. This we call it as IPC, Input Tax Credit. Whatever tax paid earlier, that can be claimed for the future taxes. You need not to pay 1500 into 10%, that 100 already paid, that can be deducted and balance 50 will be called as taxable. Hope you are clear. Now, this is all about, we call it as IPC. You are clear about this. Now, we done with this, we'll go for the problem number one, easiest one in this. Problem number one, Sri Arun Kumar of Mysore supplied goods or services worth rupees 240,000 to Sri Kumar of Hubli. Now, SGST and CGST rate on supply of goods and services is 9%. Each 9% each means what? 9 plus 9, 8 will be 18%. Now, IGST rate is 18%. Find the following total price charged by Sri Aran Kumar and who is liable to pay GST in this. Now, so these are the calculation we have where CGST and SGST comes. CGST and SGST where your IGST comes. Now, come back to this. Arun Kumar of Mysore supplied goods service to like 40. Sri Kumar as to Hubli. Remember, from Mysore to where? It is Hubli. Yeah. Where is Mysore? Mysore is within Karnataka. Where is Hubli? Hubli also within Karnataka only. Now, remember, all the transaction happened within the state only, then your IGST will not come. We have only CGST as well as SGST. So IGST will not come only, this part will not be there. Directly will go to what? CGST, SGST. Any sale or transaction happens within the state, we call it as your Normal, it is called intra, like within. So in this CGST, SGST will be calculated. Any transaction happens from one state to another state, 
then we are have to go for IGHP. In this problem, we are doing CG as well as SG. Now, I'll go for the answer now. Computation of GHK will be our heading. Computation of GHK. Now, in this, so what is the transaction? Supply goods and services of worth rupees 2,40,000. Supply goods and services. Goods and services. How much it is? Two lakh forty thousand. Your goods and services are supplied two lakh forty thousand. Now add CGST and add SG. SP. How to calculate? As they mentioned, what is the percentage? 9% each. They have mentioned that 9% for each will go for the calculation. Like in this 2,40,000 multiplied with 9 by 100. 2,40,000 multiplied with 9 by 100. We'll go for the calculation. We'll see the answer. I'll use calculator 2,40,000 into what is the percentage 9 so if you calculate you will get yes you got 21,600 how much it is 21,600 I'll calculate 2,40 multiplied with 9% similarly this is also same thing 21,6 add everything how much you will get So 2,40,000 into 9 divided by 100. Now, so in this, how much you'll get? 21. So 2,83,200. Hope I got the same answer. Yes, 2,83,200. Total amount payable. Total amount payable including GS traders. So hope you understood. There is a simple calculation. If anything within the state, you are supposed to calculate 9% SGSP and 9% CGSP all put together. 21 and 21, it is 42, 43, 200. It will be to like 83, 200. Now, I'll go for the next one. Note, under note we have Sri Arun Kumar is liable to pay GST on the value of goods supplied rupees 2,83,200. So what is the answer we got? 2,83,200, we got answer. That is the answer. Arun Kumar is liable to pay GST on the value of goods supply. Who is liable to pay GST? Arun Kumar. What was your question? I'll go back. Who is liable to pay GST? Clear? You got answer for this. Now, Second one, location of supplier and place of supply both within the same street. As I told you, Mysore and Hubli comes within Karnataka. So, therefore, CGSP and SGSP is applicable. Hope you understood. Third point, the CG and SGSP is charged on Sri Sukumar for supply of goods and services will be remitted by the Sri Arun Kumar to the appropriate account of the central and state government. So, CGSP means central government. SGSP means state government. Whatever you pay, if you do online transaction, so 9% will go to state, 9% will go to central. This is all about your calculation about problem number one. I'll go to problem number two now. In problem two, they have given like, Mr. Mukesh of Mysore supplied goods or services for rupees 40,000 to Mr. Suresh of Mandya. Again, Mysore and Mandya within the Karnataka. So it will come under what? CGST and SGST. Now, Mr. Suresh purchased goods and services worth rupees 29. See, this is sales and this is purchase. Remember, we can calculate ITC on this. We can calculate ITC on this. Now, 
inclusive of CGST and remember this 29,000 inclusive of tax. How to calculate? I'll show you. Now, total price charged by Mr. Mukesh, who is the tax payable to pay and net liability of GST. All these three we are supposed to find out. Now, I'll go for the first one. Same like before, we'll do. Like, Mukesh of Mysore supplied goods and services worth rupees 40,000. Supplied goods or services. How much it is? 40,000. Now, the heading is computation of GST. Now, Supply goods and our services, it is 40,000. What is the tax portion? Now, the tax portion will be add CGST and SGST. The tax is not included. At the time of purchase, it is included. Now, it is normal calculation. Like, your 40,000 multiplied with 9%. One more is 40,000 multiplied with 9%. How much you will get? So 9%, it comes around 3,600. 3,600 and 3,600. So we have two taxes here. One will be 9%, one more will be 9%. All put together, it comes around 47,200. 46 as well as 47, 200. Now, we got 47, 200. It is a total value. Total value including GST, we got 47, 200. These are the GST payable. 3,600 and 3,600. Now, I'll go for ITC. ITC means what? How much input tax credit you have? I'll show you that. Now, as per the value, your purchase value is 29,000. What is your purchase value? 29,000. Now, for 29,000, inclusive of tax, they have mentioned inclusive of GST means into 18 divided by 118. So, it is inclusive of tax means we are supposed to, we don't want 18% now, 18 divided by 118, calculate this, how much we'll get? Now, if you calculate this, 29,000 into 18 divided by 118, I get around 4,400 something, I'll check, wait. It is 29,000, how much? I'll go back to your question. It is 29,000 and it must be 29,500. I'll do small correction here. It must be 29,500. In the question, I have made a small correction. What is the answer? 29,500. Now, in your answer also, we'll make it 29,500 into 18 by 118. We'll see what is the answer. The answer will be your 29,500 into 18% divided by 118. I got 4,500. 4,500 in the sense 2,250 and 2,250. This is CGSP. And this is SGSP. These are your input tax credit. These are your input tax credit. Now, very simple. I'll go to the final answer. Your final answer in this. I'll make one more column here. So, I'll make this as your CGSP. And I'll make this as SGSP. Now, we'll calculate now your GSP payable. Your GSP payable. 
output tax and minus input tax. What is your output tax and input tax? Your output tax I got 3600, 3600. Now 3600, 3600. What about your input tax? Input tax I got around 2250, 2250. 2250 and 2250. What is your final answer? 1350 and 1350 is your final answer. This is nothing but GST payable. Net GST payable. 1350 as well as 1350 is your GST payable. Any tax paid on purchases, always remember we have to minus. If tax is included, it must be divided by 118. If tax is not included, divide by 100. Now, I'll go back to your all the slides so that you can take screenshot. So, this is your problem number one. Your solution part. Your note for the problem one. Your problem two, solution part, note for your final answer, yes. This is all about your today's session, hope you understood. The problems are very simple but exactly same kind of problems you will get in your examination. These are the five mark problems we have done in today's session. All the very best, do well at your home, thank you.